What is up guys, I'm Elgum Thorian here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys some more Claymore spots on Crossfire. So let's get straight into it. So the first spot's going to be on B. When you start off search and destroy, you want to quickly rush into B. Just so they can't get to you first. So I recommend extreme conditioning. And the first spot is going to be right here. Again, um, it's not that obvious of, of a spot. People usually don't check there. I mean, they usually just either rush in from here into here and they get caught right there, or they rush in from here into there, or from the bus area. But either way, I, I usually get a kill right here. It's just not as noticeable. Second spot is going to be right here. This is one of the best spots that you could plant on this map and again you can put it either a little bit further up or further back depending on your preference um, whatever works best for you but I'd say this is a pretty good spot for it so right when someone runs into here they're not going to be looking directly to their left they're most likely going to be trying to rush rush into here and rush towards there or while they're looking straight they're just going to be rushing in just like that and they are going to get caught by that claymore right there so it's a great spot next i'm going to be showing some more spots on the defending side so if you're defending a these are some of the best spots that you could plant your claymore first spot is going to be right here now this is how you get the best bang for your buck for your claymore because when this sets off not only is it going to make an explosion from the claymore but it's also going to blow up this car right here so this covers pretty much all of the back area for A because when they go through here they either jump out the window or they go through here they are gonna cross from back here they're not really gonna notice this and they're gonna get caught right here which is gonna blow up the car and the claymore making the radius even larger second spot This is another great spot for defending A. Um, when people are rushing from the back, they're going to be either jumping into here. I mean, usually people check at the bottom, but for the people that don't, they are going to get caught here. I've, I've gotten multiple kills just from this one Claymore. I think I've gotten a double kill from it before just from people rushing it. But again, it's a great spot. Anyone that's coming down these stairs trying to defuse it or jumping from right here, they are going to get caught right here. Alright, I'm going to be showing some more spots on the next map. So for these spots, these are going to be really simple claymore spots. Basically, these claymores are set up for mere purpose of just trying to defend yourself when uh, people are trying to flank you from the back. Because when the round starts, people are going to be pushing up. And some people are going to be staying back, um, kind of slowly pushing towards B or A. And there's a lot of people that often like to flank from either back here, into here, or from back here. And try to flank from the back. So the first spot is going to be right here. So 
So another great spot is just great for helping you um, defend against people that are trying to push you from the back, trying to flank you. And the second spot is going to be right here. Alright, I'm going to be showing some more spots on the attacker side. So these are basically going to be the same. It's all just for the same purpose. Um, there's not really spots for this map for uh, like anything other than helping protect yourself from the back. I mean, I guess you could plant them somewhere, but you're in more danger of uh, trying to run out here and put down a claymore because um, there's going to be gunfights going on up there um, in the middle. I mean, you could possibly put your claymore down next to the bomb. If you were to plant it here, you could put your claymore down here or in other areas. But it's going to just be more dangerous for you to do that while there's people having gunfights up there and down here. So, here's where the first spot's going to be. And again, it's the same thing as the last spots that I showed you. So, right here... I mean, I believe even if they jump, they will get caught right here just based on the radius of the claymore. It's a great spot. Um, second spot is going to be right here. Again, these are amazing for um, preventing people from flanking you. And overall, it just gets a kill when there's a couple people left. It's a 1v1. People are circling around the map trying to get each other, and it usually catches someone, even if you're dead and you just planted that claymore down there. Alright, that was claymore spots number three. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Also, if you guys have any suggestions for maybe... Uh, a different series because I mean obviously I'm gonna run out of spots for maps soon uh, I know the variety map pack is coming out soon and uh, I'll be doing some spots on there also I, I believe I I have some spots on there also from just when I used to play the original COD 4 so look out for that but other than that I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you in the next one peace